For over 128 years, FamilySearch has been helping people discover, gather, and connect their family's past, present, and future. Through global collaboration involving more than 10,000 archives and partners in over 100 countries, we've grown the world's largest online family tree, and we're picking up the pace. Finding information about an ancestor has been made more efficient through a process known as indexing. Physical records that contain identifying information like names and birthdays are scanned. Then text on the document is manually entered into a searchable computer database. Family Search for a number of decades has been collecting records from sort of all over the world. Hundreds of millions of records get collected every year from literally every continent on the planet. Indexing enables a user to easily access the family name and accompanying record with a simple search on the Family Search database. With over 300 scanning stations worldwide, indexing has made family history more accessible to millions of people across the world. However, the fact that Family Search indexing volunteers must manually read, assess, and transcribe each record image means the time between when an image is captured and when the text of the image is searchable online can take years, even decades. That is, were it not for the talented engineers and leaders within FamilySearch, who have spent years pursuing cutting edge ways to reduce and eventually eliminate the bottleneck between images being captured and text being searchable. FamilySearch over the course of the last couple of years has been generating a lot of searchable records uh, using computers and artificial intelligence. Over a decade ago, I used to work for an organization that was very interested in being able to automatically transcribe and extract information from, from documents. When I left that organization, I came to work for Family Search and wondered if it would be possible to make that same kind of capability available for genealogical documents. Using artificial intelligence and advanced handwriting recognition technology, FamilySearch has created a process we call Handwriting Recognition Artificial Intelligence. There's a, quite a bit that's involved in our handwriting recognition technology. It goes through a process that we call recognition, which is where we actually feed like a line of text, an image, into an AI-based system to take that text and turn it into something that the computer can understand. Along that way too, there's a named entity recognition, relation extraction. All of these are AI-based technologies, by the way. And then thereafter, there's still actually quite a bit involved in uh, taking that structure and turning it into something that customers can use on the website. The computer can do literally millions of records in a day. So having the computers be able to do this really, really drastically accelerates the work and makes these records available to people around the world. With handwriting recognition AI, decades of manual indexing can now be completed within a single year. The day an image is captured is the same day text of that image is searchable on FamilySearch. As this technology improves, its application will naturally expand, eventually increasing FamilySearch access in all areas of the world. The Spanish language baptisms are the main collection that has been published through Canrain Recognition AI. What's exciting about these Spanish language baptism collections is that they span 500 years and they tend to be the records that are more difficult for our volunteers to index. And that is why having um, the computer assist with indexing those makes it so that we can have our volunteers focus on the records that they can do more easily and continue to put out more records for people to find their ancestors. Recently, FamilySearch is developing a record verification process that works together with handwriting recognition artificial intelligence as part of our Get Involved experience. What it does do is it changes the experience for people on our website. Instead of keying or typing in data from scratch, they're just gonna be reviewing and looking over what the computer has already done. And we're also gonna be able to use the information that the computer created 
to link people and show them records that are related to them and their family. We're really excited to bring forth, forward this method of working on records so you can work in records that are most interesting to you and even have the opportunity to look for family members as you work on records or improve records in places or cities that really matter to you. This means you can move your search forward on your own breaking down walls and barriers without necessarily having to wait for indexers. Over the last few years, we've been developing new experiences that allow the computer, handwriting technology, and our volunteers to work more closely together and to create new experiences and create much higher quality data and in volumes that we've never been able to do before. You can try the record verification process yourself by going to the Get Involved tab on FamilySearch.org or downloading the Get Involved app. Currently, there are only opportunities in U.S. and Latin American record sets, but more are coming. Our family tree is home to more than 1.2 billion ancestors, and it belongs to everyone. Its roots and branches continue to connect each of us to our shared history. We encourage you to be an explorer and see all that's new at FamilySearch. Find your family and become a part of ours.